Welcome back, gang. So, now that we have our notification set up, I want to alter the logic on this a little bit. I want this to display only if there are unread notifications, and I want it to give us the count of that, instead of us just having it left the way that we've set it up with all notifications. So let's head into the text editor, and we'll go to the app layout. Okay, and right in this space here where we put the drop down, we started the drop down, we have the icon, and then we have the template. We can put a VF in here. So VF unread notifications dot length is greater than zero. Then I want us to go ahead and display the badge that we have, and we're going to change this now to unread notifications dot length. Okay, and that's just coming from the data property that we have down here, the unread notifications. It's the props off unread notifications. Okay, so let's go back up so that we don't lose our place. We'll go ahead and refresh the page and it should still be the same. Okay, cool, it is. We can now head back into the text ed editor and continue on because we need to now make this have a drop down, which it doesn't right now. So if we go back into our text editor and then we come down under template content, we're going to put here V if notifications length is greater than zero, we're going to have an inertia link in here. And we're going to say href equals, and we'll just leave it as a hash for now hashtag. Okay, we'll open this up, and then here we'll put mark all as red, and then we need to give this inertia link some classes, so I'll just paste some in. Okay, and as usual, I'll go ahead and post these up to GitHub so that you'll be able to get a closer look at them. Okay, then we are going to put a div with the class of border border t a class of border gray 100 and that's it all that is is just creating like um it's creating a horizontal line for us okay so let's go ahead and refresh and see what we have refresh and then we click this open. Now you see we have this and it has a highlighting function. We don't have a, a route set up for this yet, but at least we can see that it works. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is um, under this template, template, I want to have one more template. We'll open that up. This is also going to be a, con a content since we have a V. Uh, VF up here, I want to have another section so that if the notification length is less than zero, I want it to say you have zero notifications. Okay, so we'll do hashtag content and then V else. Okay. And then we'll come down here and then we'll do a div. Open that up, and then I'll paste some classes in here. Okay, and it'll be block, text center, px4, just some basic styling for it. And then down here, we're just going to say you have uh, zero notifications. That won't display right now, but it will once we get rid of our notifications. Alright, so now we are 
going to get into displaying the notification okay and we are gonna go ahead and create some components to help us do this so what I want to do is have a wrapper class for these or a wrapper component for it so we'll call it notifications uh, well let's go ahead and create it first so resources JS components and then we'll call it notifications okay and in here we'll just put our scaffolding notifications okay we'll come down here add our script move that over go back and start putting that in here so notifications okay put our little arrows around it notifications and then we'll go ahead and import that down below uh, let me close this up and we can close up this and this so come down under here we'll import notifications from at components notifications and then we need to add that down here in our list so notifications so now what we want to do is we want to pass in the unread and the red notifications into that new component okay so scroll back up to it here it is let me give that a little space and here we'll put unread equals uh, sorry unreads equals unread notifications and here we'll put reds equals reds red notifications all right so let's go ahead and accept those props in here and then we'll go and look and make sure that we're getting them so props um, brackets and we'll say reds and unreds okay we'll put a comma after this so we'll go back to the browser go ahead and refresh and we'll open up our inspect tools and then we'll open up view um, we'll go down to app layout and then the second jet drop down will have notifications so we'll click that on and now we have the two props coming in okay um, and that's the unread okay cool so let's head back into the text editor so now we are actually going to create another component and this component we're going to call um, notification item dot view okay we'll open up that html um come down here javascript and now we can work okay so oh now we're actually gonna have two notification items in this notification um wrapper so what we can do is have notification item and then we'll ha we'll create two of them at the same time and then in the first one we'll have v4 unread in unreads okay because this unreads is coming from down here in the prop and then we'll have a key of unread id and I'm going to go ahead and just paste in some styling. 
Okay. So in the next one, it's going to be v4 red in reds, the key of red ID. And then I'm just going to grab some uh, styling for that one as well. So we'll just put that right at the end of this here. So class equals, and I need an F in there, and I need to get rid of, oh, I need to get rid of this one, and it should be good. Okay, so all it is is just the difference in the color. So the reds are going to be a little lighter than the unread, okay? So let's import those as well. So um, import notification item from uh, slash notification item okay and under here we'll have a component section we'll open that up and just put notification item in there. Now one more thing that we do need to do as well is pass in the unread into the component. So next to key we can just pass unread equals unread and for this one um, red equals red. Okay, so now we can head over into the notification item and work on that. So now in here, we are going to open up some div tags. Okay, and then we're going to have a template. Open that up. And then this one is going to say v if unread. Um, let's make sure to also pass in the props. So props on red and then red. Okay. So V if on red, we're going to have an inertia link. And it's going to be equals we'll just put a hashtag in there for now open that up um, for this inertia link we can give it a class of flex and leading tight I mean leading five okay and then um, what we'll do is we'll put the image so this will be the user image that's sending the um that's sending in the uh the notification where it's coming from. So we can put unread well we need a colon here. So unread dot data dot info dot avatar. And we don't need and alt for this. Okay. In this href, we can put um, unread data dot info dot link. Okay. And we're getting that from um, from the notification that we sent out. So let's go ahead and refresh um, so that we can see it clearly. Well actually we don't even need to. We already have it open. So if we come down and we see the unread, the unread has a data section and this is what we put in through the notification. The avatar, the link, and the message message sent. And that was in the previous video so if you're unclear how we did that just go ahead and take a look at that video and you'll you'll be able to see how we got this information if you're not sure. Okay. Um, and then for the image, we need to add a class of 
uh, h, a uh, height of 8, width of 8, rounded full object cover. And again, that's to make it round. Okay. So now under the um, image, we need to add a div. Okay. And this div is going to have a class of flex, flex, call, items, start and text left okay and in this div we are going to have two span tags with a class of text small and uh, an mx of two okay um, and in here we can put um, brackets, uh, curly braces, open that up, unread, data, info, message. Okay, now we can copy and paste this one. This one is actually going to be a text of extra small, and then it'll be unread data info uh, sent instead of message and then we also need to pass in our moment.js filter which is time ago so that we can get the human readable version of it okay and then under this link we're going to have another inertia link And this one's going to have an F, uh, an href of hashtag for now. Open that up. And I'm going to copy and paste some classes. Class equals paste. We're also going to be using the trash icon that we have. Okay. So we'll paste that in and let's go ahead and click refresh and see what we get. Okay. So refresh. Okay. And we can close this and then we'll try to open it. Okay. We aren't quite getting the width, but you can see that we do have the notification and it is being highlighted. Um, with the little trash thing. So we do need to fix the width on this. Now, a trick I picked up along the way is that if you go back to the uh, app layout, okay, and you go up to, let's see, up to the jet dropdown component, you see we added 96 and the one that we copied from is 48. Now, if we go to the uh, jet stream drop down component uh, drop down okay and you scroll down to the computed property okay the width class this is only returning the 48 which means we have to manually add it in here in order for it to be recognized okay so we can copy paste this one and then we can add 96 and then this one will be 96 and that should fix that for us okay so let's go ahead and refresh and make sure that that's coming through properly so refresh okay and now we'll click it and there we go we get our correct width let's now go back to the text editor and do the same that we did um we can close this uh open that up we can do the same that we did up here for unread and do it for red. So copy, paste, and now let's give this a little breathing room. So this is red, but we can now change all of these to red. Okay, and that should be good. Let's go ahead and make sure we didn't break anything. So refresh. 
and let's go ahead and change this. We'll give this one a red at date and time. Uh, we'll say now. Okay, and this way we'll have a red at value to read. Okay, so now that we have an, a red notification, we no longer get the badge. We click it, but we still see the old. This is now considered a red um, notification. Okay, so let's get into building out uh, the functionality for these notifications. Okay, so let's head back to the text editor. And now we need to create a notification controller that will handle um, just a few of the functions that we need for this to work. Okay, so let's open up a new terminal and we'll go ahead and type in php artisan make controller we'll put it in our user folder and then we'll just call it notification controller and then we'll make it resourceful okay and let's head over to our web route now and add in the first one Okay, so we'll come all the way down to the bottom. And then we'll have, um, we can actually just copy this one. Copy. Paste. And now this will be notifications. This will also be notifications. And we can get rid of this one. This comment will be slash mark one slash, and then we're going to put in an ID, uh, root model binding again, and this will be, um, well, actually, not root model binding, we're just passing in an ID. So, comment control will now be notification. controller and the method will be store and the name will be store and let's go ahead and make sure this is imported up top and it is fantastic so let's go ahead and open that up notification controller okay so now we can head down to the store method and in here we need to pass in the ID. ID. Um, here, we need to pass in integer and ID. And then we'll pull this up and we'll create a variable. We'll call it notification equals auth. user unread notifications find ID okay so the notification ID is what we'll be passing into this okay um, and then we'll return notification And then um, part of the Laravel uh, documentation has that you can just use this as a function, mark as red. And that's a function that's already um, set up for the notifications. Okay. To get this to work, we're going to have to go back to notification item. We'll go down to the script okay and we'll create a section for methods okay the first one we're gonna call it mark one as red okay open that up so because we're receiving a 
an ID here, we need to pass in an ID here. So we'll go ahead and put that here. ID. And then we're going to use Axios to make this request. Um, the reason is I couldn't get Inertia to handle this properly, so I'm just going to use Axios to do this, which is fine. You can mix them if you need to. Um, route notifications dot store and then ID okay then we need to scroll up to the unread section okay and on the link we're gonna have a click function so at click equals mark one as red and then we're going to pass in the unread id okay so let's try this and see if it works so we'll go back to our browser we're going to change this back to uh the red app we'll just change it to null Okay, go ahead and refresh. We'll click the post or the notification. And because it, we haven't set up, um, because we haven't set up our pusher yet, our echo and pusher yet, it's not going to be automatic. So we have to refresh it again in order to be able to see it. But if we go back to the database, we can refresh, and this null should now have a time. Okay, so it doesn't so we probably have an error let's go back and look open up the inspect tools and see what's going on and we'll click it again okay let's look um okay so i must have put in get instead of post so let's go back and look so we'll come back here go down Yep, and I sure did. So this we need to change to post. Okay, let's try this one more time. Go back to, we'll close this up first. We'll go back to the browser. Refresh it. We'll click notification. Okay, and now it went through. So let's go ahead and check our database. And now we have a time. Okay, so let's go back and work on some of the other functions. The next one we're going to do is going to be pretty easy. I just want to get this, um, if we go back to the browser and we have this mark all is red, we can do that, handle that one now. So that one will click it. This one will now be, um, it, it'll now just mark it as red. Okay, so we'll come in here. And then we'll add get. Uh, we'll change this to mark all. We'll make this and this update. And then we can go ahead into the controller and add that method. So we can go up to or down to update. Okay. And then we can take out the ID since we're not passing it in. And we can remove that. We'll move this up. And then again, we'll have notifications equals off user unread notifications okay and then we'll have notifications mark as red so this will mark all of them okay and then we'll return back 
Okay. Now we need to go to the app layout and add that. So if we go down to the inertia link here, we can now add colon, route, notifications, update. Okay, so that should be good. Let's head over to our browser and now we need to make this null again. So null. And we can go back, refresh. And then we go to the notification and then we can now click that. It goes through. Okay, looks like everything went through okay. Now let's check our database. We'll refresh that. And now it's, it has a red at time. Okay, so there's one more we need to work on. We'll come back to the text editor. We'll go back to the web route. Okay, and now we can copy paste. This one will also be get, and we'll just leave this delete. And then we'll put in the ID. Notification controller, and the method we're going to be using is destroy. Okay, so let's head over to the controller and work on that method. So in here, we can now have notification equals auth user notifications find ID notification delete and then return back okay so now we can go back to the notification item and we can add a comma Call this one mark for delete ID Axios get this route notifications destroy ID and in here we can also put um, we can put a toast so then an anonymous function open that up toast fire icon success title your notification has successfully been deleted okay and we don't need a comma there but so now we can go ahead and scroll up and then where's the icon okay so right here where the trash icon is we can add a click event click equals mark for delete and we'll pass in the unread ID okay so now let's go back to the browser and see if that works so we'll go here we'll refresh 
we'll go ahead and make sure that the unreads because we didn't we didn't add these functions to the unreads yet uh to the reds so we'll go we'll make this null we'll go and refresh this again so now we can go ahead and click the bell click the trash and it looks like it went through there's our toast and now it's gone so let's double check with the database and make sure it's gone from there and it is fantastic so let's go back to our code um we still also need to add these to the red but since they work for the unread they will also work for the red so we'll copy that and we'll come down to this one and we'll add that okay we'll just change this to red and then we need to grab the delete copy um, we'll come down to the trash paste and then we just change this to red and you can go ahead and try and give this a go I'm not gonna do it now I already know that it works so I'm gonna leave it there I will go ahead post all this code up to github and this way you guys will be able to take a look at all the um, classes that I pasted in and if you have any questions please feel free to drop comments questions concerns anything down below and I'll I'll respond to it as quick as I can Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time.